Hello, this is Naval History Magazine from the U.S. Naval Institute. Today, I am excited to share with you an article on the historic aircraft, the Electronic Sky Raiders from June 2023 by Norman Polmar. One of the most versatile and durable naval aircraft was the Douglas ADA-1 Sky Raider. It also was one of the first specialized electronic aircraft in the U.S. arsenal, as the Sky Raider's large payload capacity and carrier capability made it an ideal candidate for several electronic configurations. Earlier, Douglas had dominated U.S. carrier-based attack aircraft with the SBD Dauntless Dive Bomber and the TBD Devastator Torpedo Bomber. The brilliant Ed Heinemann developed the follow-on multi-purpose attack aircraft. His prototype aircraft, designated XBT-2D1 and tentatively named Dauntless II, made its first flight on the 18th of March 1945 and was an immediate success. Mass production was initiated with the name Sky Raider. It proved to be a versatile aircraft, capable of several attack and support configurations. Two early planes were fitted with radar and searchlights for night attack and designated XBT-2D1N. One was provided with electronic countermeasures ECM equipment and became the XBT-2D1Q, and another carried a massive airborne early warning AEW radar, becoming the XBT-2D1W, subsequently XAD-1W. The aircraft were redesignated in the AD-1 series in December 1946, and the surviving aircraft were changed to A-1 on the 1st of September 1962. There were 28 variants of the production Sky Raiders, including three basic types of electronic aircraft. The last Sky Raider came off the production line in 1957. That AD-7 was the 3,180th aircraft in the series. The ADA-1 achieved an outstanding record in the Korean War and the Vietnam conflict, as well as in several Cold War confrontations and crises.